Hello, my name is Dr. Bayani, I'm a consultant in pain medicine and anesthesia at University Hospital Leicester NHS Trust, United Kingdom. Today we're going to talk about cervical nerve root block using ultrasound. In order to perform this block, the position of the patient is very important. As you could see, I have a patient laying supine and I've put the pillows vertically so that I can get much more space to work. The other important uh, tip here is always ask the patient to move their neck on the opposite side, which means you get much more space to work. And the, the, the position, in this position, the majority of the vascular structures are pulled medially, which allows you to work in the, in the area where, uh, where you don't have major blood vessels coming into your needle path. In order to perform this block, I use a high frequency linear probe. Uh, and we will start to scan the patient from the midline. I put the ultrasound probe into the midline. Here you will see a tracheal ring and then we're going to move the probe uh, more laterally and you could see uh, this is your omohyoid muscle. You will have your thyroid gland, you have your carotid artery and I'm actually compressing the internal jugular vein. As you could see, I've relieved the compression that's your internal jugular vein and the important structure when you start to see this you're looking for a bony cell out, a continuous line, which is straight on and there is no anterior tubercle. You have a posterior tubercle. This is your C7 level. Can you freeze the image, please? Freezing. Yeah. Take the picture. Now we will going to move on to, once you find the C7 level, now the other, another way to confirm the C7 level is by putting a color Doppler and we are going to look for the vertebral artery. As you could see, you're picking up a signal here. That's your vertebral artery and that's your C7 nerve root. Color Doppler off, please. Now we're going to move up into C6 level. As I said uh, previously uh, on the skeleton uh, demonstration, at the C6 level, you have your anterior tubercle and a posterior tubercle and the cervical nerve root at C6 level is sitting between your anterior tubercle and posterior tubercle. It looks like a ghost. Uh, so anterior tubercle, uh, nerve root, posterior tubercle. And if you want to perform the cervical nerve root block, you'll be performing this block, bringing the needle in plane and stopping it just at the posterior tubercle. And I'll always put the color Doppler in order to rule out any vessels at the entrance to the posterior tubercle and if there are no vessels at the posterior and the posterior tubercle, the block can be safely performed. The cervical nerve root blocks that we perform using the ultrasound uh, are basically the extra foraminal injections. Thank you.